All right, and welcome to probability with replacement level two. <clears throat> now for example one, we have our bag of marbles problem. It says a bag of marbles contains 15 blue marbles, 22 green marbles, and 128 black marbles. And remember from our previous video, the way that we find probability is doing our number of successful probabilities out of our total number of probabilities. And so we have to figure out, well, how many marbles are there in the bag? If we add 15 plus 22 plus 128, we're going to get 165. Now from there, um, what is the probability of drawing a green marble, a black marble, and then another green marble with replacement? You all remember that word with is just so key because it means every time we take out a marble and look at it, well, before we draw our second marble, we have to put that marble back. So what is the probability of drawing our first green marble? Well, notice that there are 22 green marbles out of 165 marbles total times. And then now we're going to take that marble, put it back in, so there's still 165 marbles total. And then the probability of drawing our first black marble is going to be 128 out of 165. Now remember, we pull out that marble, we look at it, we put it back in. So once again, when we draw our third marble, it's still out of 165. And we're asking, hey, well, what's the probability of drawing a green marble again? And so since there's 22 green marbles because we put that first one back, well, we're going to multiply those two numbers. Now, y'all, this is going to be a pretty wild number. <clears throat> when I did, uh, remember, you do top times top times top. And when you do 22 times 128 times 22, you're going to get 61,952. And when you do 165, remember, bottom times bottom times bottom, 165 times 165 times 165, you're going to get 4,492,000 and 125. Now you can probably tell, hey, the odds of this happening are not super large. However, whenever you have such large numbers, I would encourage you to divide these and get the decimal. So what you get as a decimal here is you actually get 0 0.01379. And then what I'll do is I'll convert that to a percentage by moving my decimal two places to the right. So it turns out this is actually one point Let's use that 7 to round up that 3, 1.4%. So what's the probability of drawing a green marble, a black marble, and a green marble with replacement? Well, it's 1.4%. I wouldn't take that gamble. There's not a high likelihood of success here. All right, pause the video, write down your notes, and let's move on to our second example. Okay, now in our second one, we're going to use our deck of cards. Remember, if you're unfamiliar with what cards are in a deck of cards, go back to our probability video level one. Um, but for here, we should know most of these. So what's the probability of drawing a king of spades? Remember, that's very specific. And whenever we have a value of a suit, a king of spades, that, that word of is so key. Well, there's only one king of spades out of 52 cards total times. Now remember, when you pull out that card, this is probability with replacement. So it's like you're putting that card back in, and you're shuffling it, or you, and then you pull out. Well, what's the probability of pulling out any queen? Well, you have to ask yourself, how many queens are there in a deck of cards? And the number of queens, that's a value card. There are four out of 52 times. And then a spade with replacement. Well, remember, a spade is not a value. A spade is actually a suit. And so when we're working uh, with replacement, we always want to use one out of four. Because remember, there's four suits. There's hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades. And so spades represent one-fourth of the deck. Now from here, I can do something pretty easy. I have a four on top, and I have a four on bottom. And rem remember, when you're multiplying fractions, I can reduce those. Four divided by four is one, and four divided by four is also one. And when I multiply my fractions, on top I have 1 times 1, which is uh, times 1, which is 1. And on bottom, 52 times 52 uh, times 1, which I think is 2,704. Okay, I misplaced my phone. Here, let me just pull up my calculator and do this super, super fast. 
and 52 times 52 is, yep, 2,704. So the probability of you drawing a king of spades and then a queen and then a spade with replacement, meaning we're putting the cards back in the deck every single time, is 1 out of 2,704 times. I would not make that bet. All right, y'all. I'll let y'all finish this uh, page, and I'll see y'all in our level 3 video.